Hello everyone, welcome to Move Well, Live Well. We get a number of people that are coming in here with issues regarding their hip, and they're having pain, discomfort in their hip due to osteoarthritis, bursitis, snapping hip syndrome, impingement when they're doing squats. For instance, they get that impingement pain, and even groin pain because of what's going on with their hip. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take care of this issue using the good old broomstick. So, join me, shall you? All right, so here we are on the floor. I got my good old handy dandy broomstick. If at all possible, take off the little brooming part of the broom and use just the stick. If you have, the, if you can't do that, and that's fine too. You can use a cane, you can use a PVC pipe, you can use a, a, a small branch from outside, uh, a dowel for instance, you can use as well. So, here we are. And what we're finding with these folks with their problems with their hip many times is that they're missing internal rotation of the hip. Remember, your hip is a ball and socket joint and it, the head of the femur sits into the acetabulum of the pelvis. And it's supposed to glide around like this. And these folks, many times, they're missing internal rotation of the hip. So here they are. This is internal rotation of the hip. This is my right side. This is internal rotation. This is external rotation. Internal rotation, external rotation. So how do we fix that? Well, what we do is you take your good old handy dandy broomstick like this and you put it underneath kind of like your thigh and on the starting from the outside here this is my right hand starting from the outside you go underneath see that underneath your kind of your calf and the back of your knee and now you're going to put it in your instep right there right there and then here you are you're going to keep your thigh stable here in this position and then you're going to use the other part of the stick up here see this See that? I got it right here. And then you're just gonna push it inside like that. Boom. See that? That's great. Look at that. This is awesome. You can do this on the floor. Right there. Boom. Just like that. And then you're gonna do, see if you can get to that end range. It may take a while before you guys get to this end range. Some folks, you know, this is it. This is their end range. They don't have any internal rotation at all. This may be it for them. So working this end range over time and just oscillate back and forth in here like this. See, I'm just using the stick right there on my instep. Boom, just like that. Look at that. That's internal rotation of the hip. Now I don't have any problems with my hip and I got pretty good internal rotation as you can see here. Remember, this is external rotation, bringing it this way. And this way is internal rotation. Many times these folks are having problems with this internal rotation of the hip. As you can see, I'm just pulling this right here. I'll go a side view so you can kind of see this. So this is my view kind of right here. I kind of hook this around. See, this is my right side. I've hooked it around right there underneath my, kind of my thigh, the side of my thigh right here, underneath my calf to the instep of my foot. See that? like that. So here I am, stick, right, right, underneath my thigh, side part of the thigh, underneath my calf. Now it's on the instep of my foot. There we go. And I'm going to go into internal rotation of the hip. You can even do a contract relax where you can contract your hip trying to move your foot that way. See that? So I'm gonna push my foot that way. Uh, contract, relax, relax, boom. See that, look how much more range I got. Contract, relax, boom. Contract, relax, boom. And work, oscillate here in this end range to get that internal rotation of the hip. So, and don't forget the external rotation as well, but most folks with these problems, they're missing internal rotation. That's why the focus here of this video is getting that internal rotation of the hip. I can relax on the floor just using a stick or cane or dowel, PVC pipe, awesome. So, if you don't have a stick laying around, 
you can do it without one. So what you do is you just kind of hang out here on your back like this. This is my right hip I'm having problems with. This is my right leg. I just hook my left ankle right here on the outside, hook it to the uh, outside part of my thigh right there and push it inward like this. You can kind of see how this is going into internal rotation of the hip. You'll feel even a different stretch in here. You'll feel kind of like this oblique, sometimes the QL a little bit, you'll feel that stretch. Again, this is not as effective as that one, but it does a pretty decent job to get some of that internal rotation that you may be missing. Another option too is again, you lay down on your back like this, you have your feet as, out as wide as you can, like that, and then you bring your knees in toward each other like this. See that? Boom. And then you can even do a contract relax where you push your feet into the ground. One, two, three, relax. And then see that? I just got a little bit more range to get that internal rotation. Um, so you bring your feet out a little wider, contract, relax, and you bring that in. Ooh, that's a good one right there. Ooh, that is a good one. So if you don't have a stick, this one is going to be pretty effective in getting that internal rotation of the hip the one before that where you're just hooking your leg around like this it does a pretty decent job but not as good as the one with the stick and the one where you're bringing your knees inward if you have any questions with this video drop it off in the comment section below we thank you for watching we appreciate it if you're new here hit subscribe and when you hit subscribe make sure you hit that bell notification button because that'll keep you in the loop with subsequent videos coming here in the near future and that way you can continue to move well live well also i know you know folks who may be suffering from arthritis or bursitis hip pain impingement even groin pain they may have a problem with internal rotation and they can take care of it at home using a simple everyday broomstick so share this with them sharing is caring also give us a like give us a thumbs up it lets us know you care thanks for watching we appreciate it we'll see you next time take care bye bye